I reopen the session and I request the promovendus to come in front of the committee. Het College voor Promoties van de Technische Universiteit Delft, vertegenwoordigd door de hier aanwezige commissie, heeft na kennis te hebben genomen van uw proefschrift met stellingen en na uw verdediging daarvan te hebben gehoord, met in achtneming van het bepaalde in de wet op het hoger onderwijs en wetenschappelijk onderzoek, besloten u de graad te verlenen van dokter. Ik verzoek de promotor door het College voor Promoties als zodanig aangewezen, zich wel van de hem opgedragen taak te kwijten. Uit kracht van de bevoegdheid bij wet toegekend aan het College voor Promoties, verklaar ik namens dat college, hier vertegenwoordigd door de rector Magnificus en de overige leden van de commissie, bij deze u, Georgius Dalinas, te bevorderen tot dokter en u alle rechten te verlenen welke aan de dokterstitel zijn verbonden. Ten bewijze hiervan overhandig ik u het diploma dat u het recht geeft de titel dokter te voeren. Ondertekend door de rector Magnificus en de promotoren en voorzien van het zegel van de Technische Universiteit van Delft. Dokter George. Uh, oh, we are too fast. <laughs> Dr. George Stalinus, it's my pleasure to hand you the diploma. Thank you very much. You were the first to uh, return your diploma after two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's the co-promoter's privilege to be the first to congratulate the young doctor. Dr. Schwab, the floor is all yours. Thank you, Mr. Director. Um, uh, dear Dr. Giorgio Stianis, first of all, congratulations with your doctor title. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy uh, uh, as your daily uh, supervisor to, to may address you with some few words. Well, first of all, uh, I have a great respect for you because uh, your PhD was like a race, eh? like a physical race with time, and during the, those races you had a many hurdles. It was like, really like a hurdle race, but you finished. And I like to address a few of these hurdles, to, na to name a few. Huh? Hurdle number one, you applied for a position on a project which was already started and where the first PhD even left a premature yeah. motorist project on the uh, Marie Curie International Training Network where the PI uh, is Marco, was Marco Curini. It was a big project, six universities, 10 companies, 13 PhD, two postdocs, and three of them were at Delft uh, PhDs. So you just have to fly into that project. Hurdle number two. The other pro uh, PhD in the project was the smartest kid in town. And he was very good at making you feel that he was. That was no reason for you. Hurdle number three. You had to work on the mechanical part of the bicycle simulator where when things started to fly around the lab, you were sort of abandoned by your partner in this project and you were sort of on your own. Hurdle number four. <laughs> you had, yeah. Everybody's curious how many hurdles there are. I don't know how many hurdles there are in hurdle race. Anyway, you ended uh, um, as a mechanical engineer who loves tinkering. But then you are asked to develop a steel wire bicycle, which among mechanical stuff also involves electronics, microcontrollers, to name a few, right? And I remember very well that you did really like, oh, I don't know. And, but you learned quickly. And in the end, you were even able to explain it to me. And I think that is very good. So now I can work with that too. Um, Hurdle number five, uh, you worked on a motorist project which is on powered two-wheeler safety, but you have no license for driving a motorcycle. Uh, actually, nobody at Delft in the project has a motorcycle license. So, all these researchers work on motorcycle safety and they don't know how to ride a motorcycle. Come on, man, if the press hears about this, we're lost. So, what did you do? Uh, you organized a one-day crash course in The Hague for all participants and 
uh, well, crash course not in the pun intended, eh? we didn't crash luckily, but it was very good. And it was fun, but also I learned a lot, riding on a heavy motorcycle, a mid motorcycle, and, and a light power too. That was a very good thing, and I really enjoyed it. And I think that was it. Hurdle number six. Uh, your advisors were pushing you to make some sort of electronic safety device for the steer bar wire bicycle, right? Because in the case of power failure or some, some electronic hiccup or some, you would immediately fall down. Uh, and you tried very hard within the budget and in, within the limits to come up with some electronic device. But uh, yeah, that didn't really work. And then in the end, you came up with a beautiful mechanical solution. You just had the stick, uh, some clamps, uh, some butterfly nuts, and uh, then putting everything together, and lo and behold, you had a mechanical backup for safety, and I really appreciate it. It worked. Hurdle number seven, the Greek Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> when Christos Christophorides entered the lab to do his master of science project, I afraid we lost you. Uh, however, the contrary. You were together like clockwork, the two of you, and you did a wonderful set of experiments where you were trying to pull people off their bike while they were riding and the all kinds. But the result is to be very nice. But relax, the finish is in sight. Uh, the last, and that was maybe the biggest hurdle of the whole race, was a text writing papers. Uh, it's nice to paper, of course, but to get a degree, uh, you cannot end in a, a mechanical thing and say, hey, this is my life project. You have to write down it. That is our work as scientists. That is our way of communicating. So you have to write a thesis. Writing papers was not your strongest asset, to say the least. However, great respect. You cranked out three conference papers and three journal papers, which I think is a very good achievement for a PhD in that limited time. Okay, that was the last hurdle, and you finished, but you're not done. Actually, now real life starts, right? Yes, life, there is a life after doing your PhD. It's incredible, but there is. Uh, and that's your life as a doctor in your team. And be careful, you have responsibilities here. When you get a problem, and you tell the solution, and the general public trusts you, because, trust me, I'm a doctor, right? That's how it works. <laughs> So I always say, be careful when you present when you do your work. Huh? People trust. Congratulations, George. Thank you. No, no, no. I'm still in control. I'm very sorry. <laughs> yeah, protocol. But I would like to continue on the wise words of uh, your daily supervisor, Dr. Schwab, Dr. Dailinias, you now have the right to use the title of doctor. Your doctorate means that society can rely on your judgment, that you act transparently, and that you independently communicate your results and the social relevance of your work. In other words, your doctorate implies academic integrity. I wish you much success with the responsibilities that come with your new status. On behalf of the Board of Doctorates of Delft University of Technology, I congratulate you, your family, and your close relatives on earning your doctoral degree. Dr. Dailinias, you may now return to your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your presence, and I hereby close this academic session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Committee members, stay online, please. We will make some pictures, and after that, you may congratulate each other. Stam, um, is it okay like this? Yes. Make enough pictures, please. Yeah. Take all the time you need.
You can please hurry a little bit. Yeah. There will be another defense in here later on. We can also give some congratulations now and then with the picture. Yeah, no, so we no, stand no, there. No, oh, he's yeah. always already there. I think we are all set. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Please follow me, sir. Okay. You could stand over here. Then uh, the chairman will like to congratulate you, and then Amanda, and then the other two gentlemen. Okay. Well. Congratulations. Now in a more informal setting, I wish you a lot of success in future. And we have the habit to give a candidate a little present. And what we give, because the university has hardly any money, we give you your own book. But um, normally that's signed uh, by all the committee members, but yeah, only Reinder was present. So there's a few friendly words of Reinder. Please take it as a memory. And once more, success. Well done. Thank you very much. Reinder. Okay, George. It was a pleasure to work with you, uh, on, and also on behalf of Arendt, we really thank you for all the ad additional capabilities that you brought to our laboratories. So wish you all the best, and a little present will follow later. Okay. Thank you very much. I would like to thank all of the committee members, and uh, especially... Just a minute, sir. Where's the other committee members? Uh, your other... Pro Dr. Swap, your co-promoter, yes. would you like to congratulate yeah. our young doctor? Yes, of course. Uh, already I expect, uh, expressed a little bit in the Laudatio, but uh, George, great work, and uh, it was really fun to have you in the lab. Uh, always good for a lab, especially in the period with that Greek mafia, then that really alleviated the whole atmosphere there. And uh, I'm going to miss you. Yeah, I hope it's not, not the last time we see each other. Oh. Absolutely not, George. Thank you very much, Professor Pirini. Yeah, thank you. Uh, hello, George. Um, I think it's uh, probably five years we know each other since you joined uh, the Motoist project. As, uh, as already mentioned by Aaron before, you were the first, the last one um, to join the, the consortium. Uh, I'm very glad to, to see that today you have reached this very important uh, goal and objective for you. And uh, so I'm glad for you and uh, for your family. Uh, I, I'm sure that all the members of the former project, motorists and all the fellows, will be very happy. Uh, I think that you are still in touch with some of them, so they will also send, send you the congratulations. So, great job, and uh, I wish you all the best for the future, and I really hope to, be, to stay in touch with you also in the future. Thank you very much, Professor Dotsa. Yes, of course, when I joined the choir, to congratulate you for an uh, impressive work. And, uh, you know, when you get a PhD, it's like you reach a goal, and uh, uh, you soon realize it's not the end, it's the beginning. So my question is, what's next? <laughs> so that is a very good question. Maybe a postdoc, but uh, I don't know. So le let's see what uh, the future holds for me. OK, so let's keep in touch. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Es Escalona Franco, please. I cannot hear you. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Thank you. So congratulations, George, because your work was very, very impressive. You did a lot of things. And, uh, well, nowadays in, in the university, when, when we teach, when learn mechanical engineering, we don't teach most of the things that you have used during your PhD thesis. That's why I consider that, I mean, everyone simulates. Nowadays, nowadays everyone is doing simulation, but that you really work with the real thing, and you, uh, what you get out of it is, is very, very impressive. 
So we, we, we don't know each other personally, but we'll, I would like to do it soon. Um, well, congratulations. I'm sure that you, you have an excellent future in front of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dr. Moore? Fantastic work, George. Um, it was a pleasure uh, reading it and learning from you. Um, I, uh, it's too bad that I'm arriving when you're leaving, uh, but maybe uh, you can find some time to uh, come, come talk with me and uh, uh, impart some wisdom from your new doctor status. Congrats. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. And finally, Professor Obing. George, congratulations on a fine piece of work. Uh, also, on successfully scrambling my Wi-Fi at home. I don't know how you did it, but well done. Um, uh, seriously, though, uh, uh, enjoy this uh, this title, this big moment, this big day. Celebrate it deservedly with your family and friends. And I wish you uh, the best of luck in your future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Dialinas. Now you may say something to the committee members if you want to. So I would like to thank all of the committee members and uh, Marie Curie Actions and the Motorist Project and Professor Pierini, of course, my promoters and co-promoters, for giving me the opportunity uh, to do uh, a project which is involved uh, many industrial and academic partners. It was really a nice experience, and I, uh, I'm deeply thankful for this opportunity that you gave me. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, the chairman would like to say something. Yes. Uh, on behalf of TU Delft, I would like to thank all the commission members. And on a per personal note, I would like to congratulate uh, the co-promoter, Arendt and Rinder, promoter. Well done. Thank you very much. This will be the end of this defense.